what's good everybody it's that time again in the halo life cycle where it seems like maybe things are about to turn around if you didn't see we got the season 5 trailer earlier today and oh my god it looks insane basically i'm gonna go over the entire trailer in this video dissect everything and show you guys exactly what's going on with this game right now if you're like me and you kind of just play for all the different events you don't really play it every day i think it's time and i think it's actually happening a halo infinite might be back man the first thing is a brand new game mode it's actually extraction from halo 4 and they said it's reimagined so i'm not sure if it's going to play the exact same way but look at this you see those little tentacles flood inspired and custom we're getting flood armor in season 5 so i think it's going to be like a halloween type of theme scary theme and yes that's one of like the big things is that flood are returning in halo infinite we're not sure exactly you know how it's going to affect the story but i don't know about you guys i think the flood armor looks amazing there's going to be two maps added in season five it's actually kind of funny these are maps that have been in the files or at least been being worked on since the game release but forbidden and also prism it's actually the crystal caves map i'm definitely glad we're gonna get to experience these maps but it is kind of funny how we've known about them uh, since the game release also this isn't like grunts in multiplayer or anything like that basically they're adding ai controls to forge so if you're making maps or if you're into making maps and stuff like that uh, you can add you know grunts and brutes and basically all types of enemies uh, to your forge maps now which is pretty cool you can now earn battle pass xp in custom games they don't mention if this includes rank xp like you know your, your overall spartan rank but i would assume if you can earn battle pass xp you can also earn rank xp as well and we finally have the ability to equip any helmet in the game across any armor core so all the different helmets that you've earned up to this point you can now use them on any armor core in the game which i don't know about you guys it hasn't really been something that's been asked for since the game first came out and they said they couldn't do it but i'm so glad they can't and i just think it's really cool like no one really is asking for this anymore but they did it anyways and it's just i don't know it looks good there's a brand new reward for hitting hero rank in halo infinite if you don't know what hero rank is it's the uh, max spartan rank in the game Game. and that is the infinite mark 7 armor core the one you see master chief wear in the halo infinite campaign so if you don't know what this means we actually have all the different armor cores for master chief in the game from every different halo now it's insane and the final thing i have for you guys firefight is confirmed to be returning in season five if you've never played firefight it's basically like a round based uh, imagine zombies from call of duty in halo it's a pretty bad comparison but that's what it is it's an unlimited uh, horde based game mode rounds and rounds and waves and waves of enemies and it's actually how i unlocked recon armor back when halo odst came out in halo 3 so i am so excited for this update uh, you guys have no clue i said this early in the video but i love this game and i literally only play it when there's a new event or just a new update to the game just because not really much to do and i have no friends that play the game but this update seems like they're on the right track now this is everything we need to make this a full fleshed out halo and i don't know about you guys but i'm so excited let me know what you guys think in the comments below drop a like if you haven't already and i'll see y'all soon for the halo video man